How's it going guys? Our alligator here and in this video I'll be unboxing the Raspberry Pi which is a piece of technology I'm really looking forward to play around with. Alright so here it is. I just came in mail a couple hours ago um, from UPS and uh, let's go and open it up. So there's just an invoice, I'll put that aside. Because you know that'll actually help make me make a point of how small this thing is. You can see it fits through a hole that small. <laughs> and nothing else here. Um so I'll just go and take it out of the sub -fog bag that it's in. And here it is. It comes in a box and you can see it says Raspberry Pi here. And uh, here's the back. So let's go and open it up. And nothing else in here. As you can see. Actually, yeah, there is something in here. What am I saying? Um, safety compliance and information. Throw that down. We don't need safety here. Alright, so here's the Raspberry Pi and anti static packaging. And here it is. So there is the RCA video headphone jack, two USB ports, Ethernet, and HDMI, and the central heating just came on. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So um, I'll go ahead and set this up and see how it works. How does this thing get power? Where's the USB? Oh, and here's the SD card slot, actually. I got an SD card um, um, as this was coming in. I was leaving to get this. And if you're getting this, I'd recommend getting an SD card, not a micro SD with an adapter because the adapter just adds um, latency and overall makes your Raspberry Pi slower. So yeah, get an SD card and preferably a class 10 because those are the high, high speed memory cards. So yeah, I'm just trying to look for how this thing gets power. Oh, here it is. Here's a tiny, tiny, I believe that's a micro USB port and that's the SD card slot. So yeah, I'm gonna go try this thing and let you guys know, really looking forward to using it. So many cool things you can do with it. And it's only like um, $35 before shipping. And then of course you have to get an SD card, etc. So um, see you guys soon. All right, so once you get it, you can just go on Raspberry Pi's website and there's a quick start guide here that um, tells you how, how to set up the um, SD card. And then uh, there's also a way on the wiki if you're on a Mac, you can just download a program that pretty much built the SD card for you, which is what I've done, as you can see on the bottom there. And you can see the SD card is plugged in. And I'm waiting for the uh, image file to finish downloading so I can um, build my SD card pretty much. Alright, so to power this guy you just need a micro USB cable and you can see I have it plugged in there. And what I'm using to power it up is just a Nokia adapter, and you can see the output on this. Um, there we go, come on. Yeah, you can see the output is 1200, and I think they recommend it as 800 milliamps, so this should be more than enough, and you can probably connect a few accessories to it, and you'll be fine. So pretty much you can just use a cable from your phone or something, you probably have one of these lying around and then you plug it in, so it's going to plug it in and uh, as soon as you plug it in it pretty much turns on you can see the power on it is turned on, but since there is no SD card in it right now, the image file is still downloading um, it doesn't really do anything, but uh, once I have that installed I'll slide it in and um, get a first boot alright, so the SD card is being uh create it now using that application so we'll just wait okay so it seems to have run into an error 
Uh, I'm not sure where it is, but I'll try doing it again and see what happens. Alright, so it's finally done after a couple of tries. The first time I did it, I realized I selected the zip file instead of the .ing file for the image, so don't make that mistake. But then after I extracted the zip file, um, I had to try it a couple of times with the .ing to get it to work, but it's finally done and it says remove your SD card and connect it to your Raspberry Pi. So here's the SD card and I'm going to go ahead and connect it and see what happens. Alright, so the SD card is um, in the Raspberry Pi. It is connected to my TV and connected to power. The other end isn't plugged in yet, hence the light being not on wherever it is. I don't know where it is. So let's go ahead and look at the first boot together. I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Alright, so the lights are coming on. I don't know if you guys can see. And wow. Alright, here's the first boot. So this is a good sign. Um, everything's going through and you're getting the green OKs. <laughs> but no, it's actually good. Um, seems to be working. And you can see the light right there in the corner. So I'll keep that in the shot. I didn't plug in any like keyboards or mice to it. Just want to make sure it works first. If it does, then I'll bring something over to try. All right, so it works. I'm gonna bring a keyboard. All right, so I got this really old keyboard. I actually unboxed this a long time ago. I don't know if you, any of you remember the video, but it was a long time ago and I'm going to plug it in here. To top USB port and right away gets power and sweet I have control so you can see it's working all right so I figured out what I'm supposed to do once I'm presented with the, the login like where you can type in a command so I'm just gonna wait for that to come up And I should be presented with a desktop environment after I do that. Okay, so now it's asking for my login. The default is Pi for username and password is Raspberry. So I just type that in. And here we go. So here we just type in start X. And it should bring me to a desktop environment. And yep, it does. Alright, so I brought over this wireless mouse and the other end of it is plugged in to the Raspberry Pi and I have this application opened up here by the name of Scratch and I just want to make sure the sound works on it as well through HDMI alone and it does as you can see so um, you know I'm just going to play around with it for a little bit it has no internet right now as I said no ethernet port connect it to it but I'll do that and play around with it if there's anything specific you guys want me to do with this I know there are a lot of things you can do with it Any, anything from like having um, it open your garage door via Siri I've seen a video of that to um, using it as pretty much as an Apple TV for AirPlay so yeah let me know what you guys want to see and thanks for watching